Just had a little coffee delivery. I was thinking, should I put it in a oh, cup for you? Sure. You want? Okay. This is Raquel, my best friend. Oh, hi, hi. best friend Raquel. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. How amazing it is that you guys get to hang out together during it's this time. It's been such a blessing, and yeah. I can't wait to try your amazing food. Oh, Raquel, you're so sweet. Okay. So we're just going to grate some fresh ginger. You don't need to peel it, just grate it over the top, exactly. About a teaspoon, roughly. It's really good for their digestion, and it happens to be my doggy's name. Oh. <laughs> Coming in hot. All right, here's my other roomie. Hi, Liz. I'm Liz. Hey, Liz. Nice to meet you. You're so pretty. Oh, you too. Thanks. Here you go. Thanks, babe. <laughs> They're going to help out today. We were going to have a little girl's day. Oh, I love it. We'll whisk all those ingredients together. Okay. So who have you been quarantining with? My doggy and my eight week old kitten. Aww. Yeah, I've been like cooking, yeah. doing the Zoom thing. My sister is six years old and she finished school and my friend Raquel was like, so did you have your last day of school? She goes, yeah, it was my last day of Zoom. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cool, that looks perfect. Okay. So for the gluten-free flour, it'll be one cup plus a quarter cup. All right. Three quarters cup oat flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then we mix everything together. Okay. Oh my gosh, my whisk. Yeah, we could probably switch to a rubber spatula now. There we go. Cool, so any ingredients that we've already used can go away. You got it. We'll need a rolling pin. Okay. Gluten-free flour to dust. I should have sent you some dog cutters. <gasps> Cute. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. We will need a tray to bake our biscuits on. Man down. Man down. Okay. Then we'll just cut some parchment paper to fit. We'll put a little bit of flour on our work surface. Okay. What you want to do is kind of create a sheet. Beautiful. I love using my hands when I cook. Same. Pour the batter onto there. Mmm. Now we are going to just dust the top and then roll it out about a half an inch thick. And then for the cookie cutters, just make sure that the thinner side is going down. What we're gonna do is cut them all first and they can stay right there until we have them all stamped out. This is so cute. So cute. And we can get these babies in the oven. We'll drop those guys in 15 minutes. Okie dokie, so I'm, I'm cleaning up. Yeah, I'll do the same. On to the sauce. 